Alrighty, moving right along. Um, now, this section has to do uh, with um, your grade breakdown. Uh, there are basically three sections that you're graded on um, for the course. You can see, let's get some chalk here. They are um, tests. There are three at 20 percent each. Quizzes. There are six at five percent each. And then there are forms. So that's because I don't like doing math, and that just makes it easy. It makes it easy for you as well. So three times twenty is sixty. Six times uh, six times five is thirty. So we're up to ninety, and then there's ten percent. Set up in grade books so that it should be very, 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 very clear to you. Um, uh, so first, I'll talk about the forms. Each figure that we study um, will does have a discussion form attached to it. Um, I will present you with a discussion topic. I'm getting a little sick of my own topics, but nonetheless, um, that'll just get the ball rolling about um, it, having a conversation about the theorist in question. So first section, Socrates forum, I'm going to present you with a problematic or an idea or something to talk about, and that'll get the ball rolling. You're expected to either or and both. And I track it all. Whatever you do on the forums, I track it. All I care about is that you use them and use them in a sort of a, a substantial way. Now, um, there are a few ways to interact with them. Right? You could generate a post and people write like little mini essays on these sorts of things, right? which is great. But hopefully, you'll be generating a conversation. Right? You'll be talking to one another about this material. Right? Uh, another way to interact is to comment substantively on somebody else's post. Right? Best would be do both. Right? I'm going to point out another way to engage with these forums, which are 10% of your final grade. That's nothing to sneeze at. It turns A's into B's, or B's into A's, right? Um, another perfectly acceptable way to engage with these forums is to ask a question. So I was reading Socrates, and I hit this passage, quote the passage. I'm not really sure what he's talking about here. I think it might be this. Does anybody have any idea what's going on? The idea with the forums is that it is sort of your rough workspace, right? It's where you collaboratively come to an understanding of this material with one another. Right? One of the great things about taking a course in philosophy, I mean, compared to the cost of the course, these books are dirt cheap. Right? As part of the cost of the course, what you get is me sort of leading you through this theory. Right? But the other big thing that really makes or breaks a class is you've got each other. You're all concerned with understanding the same material. You're in a position to help one another. And I will say the discussion forum topics will frequently wind up setting up test questions that I wind up asking. So, right, the more frequently you engage in these discussion forums, the better. I expect you each to post at least a bare minimum of once per topic. You lose grades if you don't, right? But by mere, bare minimum, I'm saying you know if that's if that's what you do, then you, you can expect the result in terms of your grade to be sort of minimal. I want to see that you are using the forum resource educationally and as a means to have a discussion about the material, with the goal to actually producing an understanding of what the heck these guys are saying. You see this hairline? That comes from what the heck are these guys trying to say to me? 
That's where it comes from. I've suffered through it, I know. Right? But what got me through it is the ability to talk an idea through with somebody else. Now you're in an online class. How do we do that in an online class? We're not all in the same room. I can't, as Plato says, draw it out of you. What, that, what needs to happen is you need to engage with one another through some sort of a forum discussion. So, right, these forums, and this is the description I wrote for them, um, each figure will study will be accompanied with a discussion forum topic posted to Moodle. You're expected to enter into debates, offer criticisms, and generally discuss the nuances of the theoretical positions of each of the figures studied via this Moodle forum. The end of the semester, a grade out of, I say 15, that's an error, I will fix it. Uh, 10 points um, it will be assigned based on the frequency, relevance, and quality of your participation. For example, posts like, I agree, or this is stupid, without additional comments, will be insufficient to garner a passing grade. Right? Uh, well, on that topic, I like what you said and I agree with you completely. That's not engagement. You're not really adding anything to the conversation. It's it's like hitting like on Facebook. Does anyone use Facebook other than me anymore? I don't know. Right? Um, so, you need to do more than that. I, I want to see an earnest effort to publicly in conversation with one another to figure out what the heck is going on in this material. All right? It's perfectly acceptable if you post uh, if your post is a response to another student. It's also perfectly acceptable to ask questions about sections of the reading, or the more, more opaque nuances of the position that we're studying. Illustrative examples uh, that either clarify or call a question to the arguments presented um, uh, of the specific figure um, is an excellent way to engage with this study resource. Generally, the idea here is to enhance your understanding of the course material. I, I love working this material through in terms of examples, and so does, like, you're trying to figure out what John Stuart Mill is saying about the principle of utility. Well, here's a situation, let's think it through in terms of this situation. Now, are we satisfied with the result? Have we applied the theory correctly? And what does that say about the theoretical position if this is the result of the application of the theory, right? These are perfectly acceptable ways to enhance your understanding of this material. I want to see that happen here. So, I ask myself three questions when I assign a grade to these forums. Have you posted at least once for each topic? More is better. The idea here is to foster an ongoing conversation about the issues um, uh, raised by the material at hand. Two, are the posts substantial? Like, do they show engagement with the material? Frequently I have posts uh, from students and it seems like they didn't read the material, they're just responding to the forum. It, that's, that's not sufficient, right? I need I need to see that you're actually in the same conversation as everybody else, right? And um, three, are the posts timely, or did the student wait until the last minute to do them all? <coughs> Here's the thing about the discussion forums. The Socrates forum will open um, on the 13th of January. It stays open until April 23rd, which is the end of this class, right? It stays open for the entire semester, right? As soon as the Aristotle Forum opens on uh, January 27th, it's open all semester, etc., etc., etc. That's because these theorists talk to one another. I want you to talk to one another about them talking to one another, right? At some point in the class, you'll understand something additional about Socrates, so maybe the place for that is the Socrates Forum, right? I want you to engage with these forums, and I want you to have control over this 10% of your final grade for the entire semester. What I don't want you to do is wait until the bloody end to answer all of these, to engage with all of these, because the conversation didn't occur when the conversation needed to occur. But I also don't want to cut you off at the knees if you get busy during a portion of the semester and don't get around to posting, right? Do you see, that's, 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 
That's why I lay this out the way that I do. So at least once rule of thumb is post comment on somebody else's. Right? But a real engagement would be post comment on all of the comments on your post, maybe read the other posts. I read everything. Um, I myself post very infrequently on this resource. It's your rough workspace. The other thing I'll point out about it is that, okay, on your tests and on the quizzes, you have to know the right answer. You have to understand what the heck is going on. Not so on the forums. You don't need to understand. You just need to ask good questions. That's all. That's all. All right. So, um, I'm going to try and get you um, some additional feedback um, with regard to these these um, these these forums, um, the, 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 like sort of a provisional grade at about week ten of the class. Right? That'll put it at middle of March or something along those lines, just so you know where you stand with regard to the forums. Um, it, my comments are going to be really minimal because that's a busy time for me as well. But nonetheless, um, if you're worried about your forum participation, you can come see me or ask me questions about it. And I'll offer you some sort of uh, guidance or feedback uh, throughout the semester at your request. Right? Um, I'm going to try and do something formal this semester um, with regard to that. Now, uh, Moodle quizzes, uh, that will be, uh, you see I'm going in the reverse order that I wrote it on the board here. Um, I've started doing these, I kind of like them. Um, I, they, there's something frequent that you get instant feedback on um, that, 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 that are based on the readings and on the video material for the class. The reason I started adding them is that I would have people screen none of the video material for this class and try to pass the class. Well, you can't take these quizzes, which are 30% of your final grade, unless you screen the video material. And they ask you questions about the video material and the readings. Right? So they are there for me to make sure that you are paying attention throughout the semester. They're not supposed to hurt anyone. And I try to make these questions as straightforward as possible. Um, they're timed quizzes. You'll have 15 minutes um, to engage with them. I've tried to pick only central notions, central ideas, central definitions, and, and have them be straightforward. So you do your work, you take the quiz, away you go. You get one shot at them. You've got 15 minutes for five questions. Right? That should be lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of time. Right? Um, and um, you get the grades for that immediately. Right? So um, they're restricted. So unless you click on the video material and actually engage with it, you can't even take the quiz. Right? So um, that's the way to do it. Um, and then finally, uh, tests. One for each section. We'll do the ancients, so that's Socrates and Aristotle, and then we'll have a test. Right? I've given you a lot of time on these tests. Um, the first test I will post to Moodle on February 6th. The due date for that test, right? so you'll have all of the questions. Effectively, what you'll do is sit down, you'll create a document, you'll think about the question, you'll write out your response. These are intensive writing, sort of essay question kind of kind of tests. There are going to be four questions, right? February 6th, I post. It's due at five minutes to midnight on Friday, February 15th. All right, so that's a good nine days, right, with this test material, right? So the end of each section will have one of these tests. There are four questions worth five points each for a total of 20 points. Three of them, that's 60% of your final grade. This is the most substantial thing that you'll be doing with regard um, to this material. Any of the video material, anything in the readings, anything that I noticed in the discussion forums, that's all fair game. That's all fair game, right? So you're, it's, it's they, but the thing is, these tests are not cumulative. 
right? So we test the ancients, we're done with the ancients. We move on to the moderns, we test the moderns, we're done with the moderns. We move on to the postmoderns, we test the postmoderns, we're done with the postmoderns. Bing, bang, boom. Those are the three things, right? So there's no comprehensive final exam in this course, it's just these three tests, these six quizzes, and the six forum discussions that you're responsible for throughout the semester, right? Um, I have laid out uh, for you on page four of the syllabus a tentative schedule. Top of it has all of your due dates. Quiz 1, January 25th. Quiz 2, February 8th. Test 1, I'll post February 6th. It's due February 15th. Quiz 3, March 1st. Quiz 4, um, March 15th. Test 2, um, posted March 13th, due March 22nd. Quiz 5, March 29th. Quiz 6, April 23rd. Test 3, um, April 23rd and the discussion forums all close at the end of the class on April 23rd and then we're done. All right. um, I also list by section with the dates um, each of the readings, the video material and the due dates in a more laid out kind of thing. What I would do if I were you is print a copy of this and keep it on your desk or keep it on your wall just so you know where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there. I emulate this um, on the Moodle page as well, so each of the sections will have the readings and the due dates and all of that there as well um, for your reference. And um, that's how we do it. A um, couple of things about grading I suppose I should um, get to on this video um, as well. Uh, your Moodle grades you'll have lickety-split. Discussion forums, I'm going to try and give you some sort of a midterm assessment. If you have questions about where you're standing in terms of your discussion forums, contact me. I'll offer you a breakdown. I'll offer you suggestions. I'll offer you even a provisional grade, right? Um, but I calculate that grade at the end of the course, the, the final one, the one that matters, right? And grading of assignments, given that these are writing intensive assignments, given that they're essays that you're writing, they take a long time to grade. They take a long time to grade. So um, I try to turn these around in about two weeks. I know that's a bit of time, but I have to read them, I have to think about them, I have to offer you comments on your writing, on your analysis of the material, on what's expected for these assignments, etc., etc. It's all designed to be therapeutic. And this semester, there are 105 of you, and there's one of me, right? So these take time. They take about, let's say I'm quick, and they take about 20 minutes each to grade. What's 20 minutes times 105 in addition to everything else I do that week? That's quite a lot, right? So um, it... I'm working my butt off trying to turn these around as quickly as possible. I've made sure that there is a portion, that 30% of your grade, you have instant access to your grades. So that's something anyway. And um, I try to do a good job, if not a quick job, of grading your assignments. All right? You'll have feedback before the next assignment, is what I'm saying anyway. So um, that is a um, uh, breakdown of um, it, what you're responsible for in this course. Whoops. There's another typo. In Moodle quizzes, I have a September deadline. And um, ignore that. I should just delete that from your course syllabus. Right. This is when I find all my um, typo over, uh, typos and errors in the syllabus. So my apologies for those. Hopefully you'll find them endearing. All right. Um, the, the next part of the video has to do with uh, course policies. All right. Um, all right.